We were talking about um, your first teaching job. And now I understand that, that the job initially required that you not only be able to teach math and French, but also piano? No. No. No, just, I was, I graduated, I actually could have graduated in December, but then I would have had to go home. This was during the Depression, so I didn't want to do that. He can't get a job in January. So I dropped the course so I'd have to stay till the end of the year because I was, my this last year, I had a full-time room board and tuition. And I said if I went home, Daddy would have to feed me. But if I stayed on campus, it wouldn't cost anybody a cent. So I stayed on campus the rest of that semester. Well, I graduated and jobs were still scarce. I didn't hear a word about a job until the 4th of August. And I got a telegram that said, if you can play piano, the job is yours. Now, I don't know why I didn't save that telegram. Uh, what? Well, first of all, where did where did the uh, uh, telegram come from? Who said th this was? That's all it said, and it was the name there. Could you play piano? Yeah. So I uh, couldn't respond to him, so I called the college, and knowing everybody, I got Miss Bevins. He said, "No, I didn't recommend you." He said, "Call Dr. Farrell." So I said, Dr. Farrell, did you recommend me for a job in Marion, Virginia? He said, yes. He said they wanted an elementary teacher who could teach French and could play the piano. And he said, I remember that you took piano. So you have, this is because you know everybody. Right, yeah. So you, but it wasn't about teaching math. They just wanted you no. to teach French and piano. And elementary, fourth, fifth, right. and sixth. So that's what I taught my first two years. 